Don't tell me you're going out. Well, I am. I have noticed that you're always going out these days. There's nothing to be nosy about, Wendy. I'm not a kid. Susan! You're talking back at me. You dare talk back at me! What's the problem here? Susan, what's the problem? Wendy, when are you leaving for work? In the next hour, Mom. My boss has traveled, so I'll be going over to his son's place to do some cleaning. Anyway, I'll need some money. Money? I thought I gave you some money last weekend. That was just 50 Ghana City. Just? That was two thirds of my miserable salary for crying out loud. Last weekend was six days ago. And a lot has happened since then. A lot's like what, Mom? Wendy! You're screaming! Oh, let her raise a voice at me. Since I've become a dependent on you, I slave myself working as a maid, Mom. I make sacrifices for this family, depriving myself of so much just to make this family happy and to keep this family running. The least I expect from both of you is to show some appreciation. It appears I have to go on my knees and stretch out my hands in tears. If that is your wish, I'm done cleaning, sir. I'd like to take my leave now. Why the rush? Because I finished with everything I came here to do. How's your mom? She's fine. Don't be stupid. Cancer is a terminal disease, you know, but anyone who has it is never fine. But sir, how can you- Shut up, I'm talking! I'm really surprised you haven't come begging and kneeling before me for your regular stepping for her chemotherapy. <gasps> is she dead? Don't freak out on me now, please. I know your need of money, but well, fortunately for you, I'm, I'm in a mood to part with a few thousands. It could do some good, you know, but you, you know how it works. I have sworn never to grace your bed again. Excuse me. You walk out the door, you're walking out of your job. I don't work for you. I work for your father. Oh, but my word is as good as my father's and you know it. You're made, Wendy. You're made. Seeing my nakedness should be your pleasure. I hate you, Colin. Same here. But you can't do anything about it, can you? Be my guest. After you, maid. What do you want from me? I want you to put an end to this and then this. That is my job, Zizi. Wrong, Tom. You're a lawyer and your job is to represent clients, not to wage a fruitless media war against the government. But somebody got to do it. Someone other than you. Phones, presses, wallets on the tables! Well, 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 see who we have here. Get down! Get down! Who the hell do you think you are? You can call me a friend, a brother, a citizen, whatever suits you. Tom, what is wrong with you? For God's sake, get down! Don't you dare come closer to me, fool! You know, stealing has never been an honorable source of livelihood. Now, would you shut the fuck up and get down or I'll blow your fucking brains out now? You have the gun. Why don't you pull the trigger? Add murder to your list of crimes. Uh, uh, Tom, are you going crazy, Tom? For God's sake, just get down! Bitch is wiser. You listen to her. Who really are you? An unemployed graduate? An offspring of pension denied parents? Or a victim of this foul government system 
No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You, you think you've got some guts, huh? See, I'm getting very impressed with you right now. You know, the guns you're holding are not weapons, but a curse. You have got the wrong people, boys. Now, you've just messed with the wrong guy. Now, you tell him that again. Tell him that again. Put the gun down, okay? Now, you stay where you are. Don't come close to fool. Don't you try this shit. Put the gun down. You don't tell me what to do. Don't come closer. Down. Don't come closer. Pull the trigger, okay? Oh yeah, you bloody did! What the hell was I supposed to do, huh? Get the money and get out. That's what we came for. He's not dead, is he? Hello? Bullet kills, doesn't it? Get dressed, get lost. I wonder how the judgment day will be like, you know? God is going to have a hard time tampering justice with mercy. Especially not for those who swear by his name. I swear never to grace your bed again. that obvious? Look, that guy was not going to harm me. He is not a criminal. Do I need to remind you that he had a gun in his hands? A gun which is not being used as a weapon, but a tool? Zizi, that guy needs food on his table and perhaps a shelter over his head. Are you justifying him? I am not condemning him either. But you saw him. That guy is a product of the system. A product of some circumstance. A product of some... Enough! Enough, Tom! Just maybe in your quest for justice, you have yourself shot and killed. But do me a favor. Make sure it's long after our child is born. Hey, what's up, girl? Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, Susan. You're looking good. Thank you. Hey, looks like it was fun out in there. Baby, you can make a hit song out of it. Oh, gee. Tell me, was his wallet has big ass? You know. It was bigger. You check this out. Hey. <laughs> Listen, listen! Hey, baby. Listen, baby! Hey! <laughs> and where'd you get the money to buy all this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say that's so funny? Everything, everything girl! Everything. everything! Sorry if you felt embarrassed, okay? But you have this look on your face that says, I'll do anything to get a cut out of this. <laughs> oh, please. I was just admiring. And wishing? Ah. I didn't tell you. Mm -mm. Her only wish is to get a mother off that sick bed. The hospital requires 30 million cities. <laughs> 30 million cities? Yeah. And who says it will take a lifetime to raise that amount of money? <coughs> Look, Susan, there are a lot of things you don't know about, okay? The question is, how willing are you ready to find out? How willing? And where have you been all day? I want to see some friends. Friends? Who have no names? You don't know them. I am not done with you yet. Know what? Don't you dare give me that attitude. Why are you always bent on picking a quarrel? You still talk. <coughs> Wendy! Wendy! What's the problem? Susan, what is it? 
Why don't you ask him, Mom? Hello? Hello? Sorry if I scared you. What are you doing here? What else, Carl? They're probably making out some steam like a uh, smoking barbecue. Oh, 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 oh. No, I'm sorry. Um, my friend and I, it's just the two of us and it's just the two of you. We were only wondering if we can join you because, you know, four will be more fun. Two is just a company, you know. Look, we appreciate your stopping by. Right? But it would really be nice if you could go elsewhere and continue your adjusting. You drunks. Uh, uh, Greg? Huh? Greg? Oh, yeah. Greg, did he just call us drunks? Oh, yes, he did. He did. Uh, he did? He did. No, no, he didn't. He did. I I'm getting really pissed now, Greg. Right. Okay, okay. Hey, right. hey, hey, hey! hey. You, Greg. Hmm? Greg. Yeah. I need an apology from the dude and the whore. Now. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'm, I'm really battling to uphold my patience, mister. But don't push your luck. I will not have you insult my fiancé. <laughs> <laughs> fiancé? Oh, I'm really sorry. But let me give you a little bit inside information about fiancés. You know, no matter the name you call a girl or a woman, it doesn't make her any less of a whore, a bitch, a you know? Bitch. A bitch. <laughs> I swear to God, when this is over, you're gonna be in shatters. Mm. Oh, oh, come on, man, you're talking tough. Shut up. Calvin is talking tough. Oh, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You can go away with the bitch, okay? You just send me the damn bill in the morning, huh? No, I can't do this. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Look, Susan, the clubs are the next ten. Quit acting like a child. The last time I checked, I was not outdoors either. You are 16 for crying out loud. 15 years, 10 months, Bloggy. Susan, it makes no difference to me. Not to me, neither. I thought you've gone over all this and laid it to rest. Now, why is so unnecessarily tensed? You need to calm down, Susan. Calm down. Calm down. How calm can I be when I'm all dressed up like this? Tagged with a name I don't even know? Prostitute. Susan, we are not prostitutes. Just club girls. Just to be at the right place and at the right time. I thought you said you wanted to help your mother. Look, I feel very awful right now. Oh, please, God. Look, look, Susan. All we are doing is trying to show you how we get the money to afford all the pleasures you admire. Hmm? Just reason up, okay? Right now, I don't care about any pleasures or fancies. I'm only doing this because... Oh, please spare me all that. We all have emotional attachments, believe it or not. Time will soon kill that surge of innocence. Susan. Susan, this is my fourth year on the street. I was much younger when I first learned how to hustle. Tell her more. Hustle? Yes, Susan. That's exactly what this is about.
you expect the worst, the worst can happen. I need you to stay positive and have faith. Faith is the figment of your imagination, child. It doesn't exist. And it will never be. But if you've given up, how do you expect us to cope? How do you expect me to go on, Mom? I need your tears. I need your pity. I need everything that speaks of misery. This is 150 Ghana cities. It's all I've been able to save. I know it's nothing compared to what we have to raise for the surgery, but it's better than nothing. Mamori Suzanne. Work? Yeah. She now works in a restaurant as a sales girl. What? How could you let her mother? Wendy, we can't just be waiting for you for you to walk through the door. All she's trying to do is to take some burden off your shoulder. But I am not complaining. Neither am I. I don't like this. Wendy. The ticking hands of the clock is drawing me closer to my grave. here right now I am edgy irrational and very confused if you push me to do anything stupid I might kill you in the process because I'm very edgy right now you understand <laughs> both of us are thinking something right now we're thinking of getting rid of you because you're the only witness around right now then be cool I'm gonna give you another option hey you know my dad right you know this man you see him on TV right He's the chairman of the ruling Progressive Alliance Party and a celebrated ally of the presidency. You'd open your mouth and tell anyone a word about this thing right now and I'm out of here like this! Oh. 
<laughs> you were going to be swimming in hell, you know that. You know that. Shut up and listen! <coughs> I'm going to give you a huge amount of money, an obscene amount of money, and you go away with it alive. If you want to live, you listen. Do you understand? I just want to remind you that tonight is going to be the longest night of your life. So you be still and be cool, like I said, okay? Take care of him upstairs. A Cry for Justice by Thomas Asari. Great article. You're very blunt. Well, I get the same acclamation everywhere I go. I just pray the government is listening or reading. Oh, Thomas, believe me, they are. They read everything. Everything. You must remember that um, politics is a very dodgy affair. Politicians never mean what they say and never say what they mean. Well, that is hard rendering, if you should ask me. But we take solace in the fact that we have people like you around, you know. Mm. It's glad to know we are not fighting this in isolation. I'm flattered. But you know, the torch of justice these days is in your hands. All we do is to just sit back and watch everything go up in smoke. At least you set a pace and you set a standard. I, for one, I have been greatly mentored and influenced by you. And I must say that till now, it has affected my life and my career. Thank you very much, Thomas. Tell me, do you remember that old adage I used to use? Just like yesterday. Justice denied is a sin of the soul. Justice denied is a sin of the soul, indeed. Hi, Lucy, baby! Hey, what's up? <laughs> Get down! <laughs> You're an excellent and <laughs> Last night was the bomb. Hey, you know the guy I hooked up with was a real man spinner. <laughs> he was dead drunk after the wine and champagne we took at his place. But I still got a cool 800 Ghana City for doing little or nothing, huh? Hey, can you bet on that? <laughs> and you don't tell me that's not going to turn out to be a fun for you. Because I hear the guy you left is quite a rage, dude. Yeah. And Susan? Ah, uh, probably she's going to place all what she had in her mother's hands. I'll go cook up some breakfast, take some shower, then I'll be out to do some shopping. I was wondering, are you the one in charge of the rape case? The rape case? Which one? The nine-year-old girl. Oh, the one being handled by Judge Karantin. Oh, okay. okay. Right. What about it? Well, I'm defending them, so I just want to you to know. Oh. I'm just praying money doesn't exchange hands, you know. Yeah, let's hope that money does not <laughs> change hands. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll pass by later. Okay, have a great day. See you in court. Bye. All hail Thomas Harry, defender of the universe. <laughs> Barrister Abdul, I am surprised time has not dwindled your cynicism. And I'm surprised that time hasn't dwindled your senseless passion. <laughs> well, Barrister, the adjective senseless offends my sensibilities. Could you please rephrase? I wish I could, <laughs> but unfortunately, no other adjective fits. Well, based on your sparse residue of grammatical lexicon, I can imagine. You were never good in school. <laughs> but look how I turned out. Hmm? Currently, I represent all the political gurus in court. Mm -hmm. Even in addition, I am the legal attaché at the presidency. Well, that sounds good, but I'm not impressed. Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you see, I am all that you have wanted to be and even more. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's mine. Hello? When was this? And who is in charge? No, no, listen to me, listen to me. Um, you play cool. I'll be on my way. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Tom, it would be nice for the two of us to meet in court one of these days so I can defeat you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, why not? Just give it a try, okay? All right. I won't. So long. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yes, come in. Good day. Hello. I'm Officer Christian O'Daniels, and here's my assistant, Jana Gogo. We are from the Homicide Department of the Regional Head Office. You reported earlier on today of your missing daughter. Yeah, yeah. my sister. Well, it's come to our notice of a, a dead body at a particular junction. Oh. Easy, ma'am. Easy. And we, it befits the description of your daughter. But then we want you to, wait, hold on, please. Calm down. We want you to come with us to identify the body. Oh. Oh. Come in, come in. She's dead, isn't she? No, she's not. She was lucky to have been rushed in here at the nick of time. But the danger still pertains. I'm afraid your mother has had a stroke and has lost temporarily the use of the left side of her body. Isn't that paralysis? Partial, temporarily paralyzed. While that situation can be managed with a round of a clock, medical care, and one more thing, her surgery must be done now or never. Out. Please, Calvin, I beg you. My mom is dying. She's dying, Calvin. You're my last hope. Calvin, please, I'm begging not you. Not in the mood for your mom. But please, I'm begging you. This is the time I need you the most. Come on, Calvin, please. Please, Calvin. She's dying. Help me, please. You have your problems and I have mine. I can't do anything about it. Please, come. Please. If you want my money, you go upstairs. You heard me. Please. Help me. Upstairs. You wouldn't want to blame yourself eternally for your mom's death now, would you? Upstairs. Calvin! Calvin! Calvin, you have to help me out. Please, Calvin, I beg you. My mom is dying. She's dying, Calvin. You're my last hope. Calvin, please, I'm begging you. Not in the mood for your mom. I'm begging you, this is the time I need you the most. Come on, Calvin, please. Please, Calvin. She's dying. Help me.
You have your problems and I have mine. I can't do anything about it. Please come. Please. If you want my money, you go upstairs. You heard me. Please. Help me. Upstairs. You wouldn't want to blame yourself eternally for your mom's death now, would you? Upstairs.
What is it? I have to be with my mother. She's sick. I know. I mean, why are you breathing hard? Um. What is it? Nothing. Then get on the bed. Not today. We had a deal downstairs. I, I know. Another time. Carving your phone. Fuck the phone, Greg. Yeah. What? Since when did you start disrespecting the rules of this home? Barging in like this with guests? Now, please forgive me. Now, one, two, three. Go out, knock the door, and I decide whether to let you in or not. Well, I am off Excuse me, madam. Person. Oh, you heard me. One, two, three. You walk out, knock the door, and I'm going to let you in. Now, Calvin. Let me handle this. How can we help you? Well, I am Officer Christina Daniels, and here is my assistant, Jan Agogo. And we are here based on a piece of information, and we have the warrant to search this house. Ah. You have the warrant to search this house? Well, 
I don't really need to tell you how embarrassing this is and how infuriated my dad is going to be after this invasion of my privacy gets to his knowledge. Well, when we get to that bridge, we will cross it. But for now, we have to search this house. Well, well, well. But you do sound like a woman with a lot of guts, Christiana Daniels. But it's really, really sad to know as well that there's just a thin line between guts and cosmic stupidity. Granted, Mr. Calvin. Now, can we do the search? The bedroom. Gentlemen, will you move and lead the way? You, lead the way. That's the wardrobe. Young man, can you open the wardrobe for us? What, now you want me to search for you? Why don't you open it yourself? It's pure and fucking simple, isn't it? It's not remote controlled. You can use your hands to open it yourself. Or oh, bloody as hell will do it for you. I don't want to find the police. Call it what you want to shoot. Yes, what you want to see? Yes, whatever you want to see, come. Yeah, here you go. That's what you want to see. Oh, you want to look in the ships to see what you can find? Or probably my mouth. Oh. Whatever you want to see, you want to see bad breath? Or you want to take my pants down so you look at my ass? You probably will find what you're looking for at my ass! Calvin! Bloody hell as well. Next room, please. No. I am positive. I saw. Gentlemen, you're wasting our time. Come with us to the police station. Me. I swear to God, Colin. I swear to God, I will get to the bottom of this. I will tell the whole world where the where you are. I will tell the, the whole world that you murdered my sister. She was only 16. She was only bloody 16. Calm down. Calm down, young lady. Hello? Calm down. I'm doing. I have a situation in my house right now. And I. I'm going to call you back. That was a celebrated alley to the presidency and I'm very sure you guys know what you're doing. She is the last of my mother's she children! Is. She is the last of her leg of me! I'm telling you, I will get to the bottom of this. I'll kill you myself if that's what you think. How could you? How could you? What is wrong with you? Why have you killed my sister? Why? Why don't you kill me too? Why don't you kill me too? Why don't you kill my sister? Why don't you kill me? Why did you put her? Why did you take her? Young man? 
get into the car. Are you kidding me? I'm driving to the station myself. I insist you go with us in this car. I'm uh, only a suspect, not a criminal. I'm driving to your station myself. I'm not joining this car to the station. Well said. Now you get into this car. One, two, let's go. Don't you have manners? You don't remember me, do you? No! You don't remember threatening to blow my brains out? Me? What, what are you talking about? What about Thomas Sari? You've heard the name? Oh, well, well, the name Thomas Sari, yeah, but this, this face... People will have the balls to offer to share a table with a man who once threatened to take their lives. Well, he don't seem to me as an everyday kind of criminal. Is that supposed to be some credit? That is not a credit. Tell me, Tom, what's in it for you? This course you seem to be championing. Nothing. In fact, nothing at all. I just want to make sure we have an equitable and justice people to society. That's one tall dream, isn't it? Why? Not achievable? Well, from my side of the street, absolutely not. <laughs> Tell me, what's your story? Hmm, my story. My story. Well, it's a very popular one. First child of a low-class Ashanti family, I had to struggle my way through school. Graduated, couldn't seem to get myself a job, and I left home out of frustration. <laughs> the rest is pretty much storybook history. But it well, seems to me that you guys have found a job. Listen, Tom, some of us weren't as lucky as you were to have made the right choices at the right times, okay? Crime, for me, was an option born out of sheer inevitability. For the last five or something years, I haven't had the luxury of setting my eyes on my family. We have lived in total isolation. Every time I hold that bloody gun in my hand, it is with the hope that I'm going to make enough money and go back home to give them a better future, okay? Listen, right or wrong, I will keep that hope alive. I will. You know, everybody's got dreams and hopes. 
We just pray that we all achieve it one day. I cannot really judge your ways, but I sure can judge your acts. I will advise you to rethink, think about everything once you still have the time. And please, please, go back home. Shut up! I can't! It's a matter of can or can't. It's a matter of having the willpower. Everybody's got it. It's in your heart. Find it. They actually arrested Calvin, but he was released on bail. On what grounds? What? But I don't have any physical evidence. But I'm telling you, Robbie, I know what I saw. I saw my sister's body in that closet. I'm telling you, I saw Susan's body. I don't know how Calvin did it. As soon as we walked over there, everything had just disappeared. And I have evidence, Robbie. Remember my necklace, my favorite necklace? It was there. I gave it to Susan, and it was there. It was in that room. So what are they saying? I don't know. I really don't know, but I'm very sure that the police are doing their very best. But you know how it works. They're doing nothing. They're just gonna sit over there and just brush it under the carpet. Next thing you know, it's forgotten. I can't believe this. Wendy, trust me. Calvin will pay. Come on, Calvin. Isn't it too early to be drinking that stuff? Oh, shh. I have an answer to that, okay? I have an answer. Okay. Don't forget we have a serious issue to handle here. Brother, well, who gives a shit? If you don't, I do. And your father does. Oh, now you're scaring me, old man. Take it easy, okay? I bought you a pack of cigars you can smoke out of this sinful world. <laughs> Did you tell him? No. Oh, Jan, your performance was amazing. Greg, you don't forget to give him an award after this. He sure deserves an Oscar. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> well, I'm just a man who knows how to cover his tracks. Talking about covering up tracks, don't we still have a lingering unwanted witness out there? Don't we? You're the genius, right? I know you can handle it. All jokes aside. <sighs> okay, Jan. For you, how much? Give me your offer. 30 million. 60 million. Ooh. Greg, I think we need a negotiator here. <laughs> 50 million, and that settles it. 50 it is then, deal. Hmm? 50. 50. Cheers. <coughs> Not to kill again. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm as hurt and pained as you are. But this is surely not the right time to play the blame game. I'm, I'm just feeling guilty. I mean, I wish I didn't talk her into joining this job in the first place. Look, Lucy, I know you wanted the best for her, right? Good. So did I. It's not your fault. Don't do this injustice to your heart. Don't. <laughs> no. It doesn't fit. I mean, who would want to mother a young innocent girl and dump her body in the lagoon? Yeah. yeah. That'll be very hard to tell, Lucy. It's quite a wicked world out there. Yeah. No doubt it is. Yeah, come on in. Hello, Sir Williams. Froxy AJ. <laughs> and who wants to know? 
I'm Officer Christina Daniels, and here is my sister Jana Gogo, regional homicide. Mm. How may we help you, sis? Susan Johnson. Does that name sound familiar? <laughs> yeah, she's a friend. How close? Very close. When last did you see her? Um, um, Friday night at about 10 p.m. Yeah. Well, she was found this morning floating down the lagoon, lifeless. Oh, sorry girls. You have to come with us to the police station for further questioning. That should be now. What did you tell them? The truth. Nothing more than I previously said. <laughs> you know what? I've been doing some thinking. Hmm? And just as the officers noticed, everything seems to stretch it. I mean, a more perfect expression, however, could be calculated. Lucy, what is this about? <laughs> it's about how it is. They have tailor made answers for every single question. We're supposed to attend a party, had a date mixed up, had some drink, parted ways. <laughs> Hello? Give me a break, Lucy. I only answered impulsively. What was I supposed to tell them? That we were prostitutes who went to the club in search of male clients? Oh, granted, you had to consider the identity. But what was it about the mention of Kelvin Jake Boatin that sent shivers down your spine? Shivers? You heard me. Lucy, don't be so dramatic. Weren't we both in there frightened? I mean, not like I've not seen the inside of a police station talk less of being interrogated. That is normal to feel odd anyway. I see. Is there anything you're not telling? You know what I think, Lucy? It's not about what I'm not telling you. But you really have to talk about what you really want to hear from me. Well, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. But I know nothing, absolutely nothing about Susan's death. <laughs> I never said you killed her. You didn't really have to. Because your eyes speak of scorn, you know. <laughs> well, your eyes speak of fight. Could you pay the lorry for it? Yes, an arrest was made, but the young man in question has been granted bail. What? Are you saying you let him loose to roam the streets in total freedom? A suspect is assumed innocent until being convicted by court of law. Only in a civil society, okay, where the rights of these people are respected. You of all people should know that. I acted on orders, young man, but that doesn't dwindle the arms of justice. If the young man in question, if... Did you just say if? Yes, if. The witness did confirm to us that she and the deceased left in his company, but that hardly amounts to murder. Officer, that beast is everything a murderer is. Okay, what he deserves right now is to be put behind bars. We need evidence, but all we have is an unwilling witness. Officer, please do anything to bring my daughter's murderer to justice. I'm a woman of goodwill. I cannot speak vile words in an oath, but my will and desire is to see justice done in purity, and this will I only seek. Last two, last two, last two, last two, last two, last what the 
hell is going on here? Madam. The young lady in cell 2 is dead, madam. We found her lying lifeless this morning, madam. Did you actually say the doctor has been calling to confirm? The doctor just left. She has been confirmed dead. The body has been taken out. Get online with the hospital. I need immediate cause of death established. Now, meanwhile, line up the detainees in my office. I need to get to the bottom of this. You know what, Chan? I smell fraud. I, I knew this was not going to be easy, but... I never envisaged you to get this far. Well, thanks to good fortune, I beat them to this. You know, for some awkward reason, I moved the young girl from cell 4 yesterday evening. My mysterious intuition yet at work again. I am a trained police officer, Floxy. This is my job, my life, the very essence of my existence. Pathological and forensic examinations suggest that the lady I moved to your cell died of food poisoning. I can't really tell what food contained the toxic substance, since there are a lot of charity and religious groups that bring in regular supplies of food. But all I can say for sure is that you were the target. Now someone wants you dead, Floxy. Someone wants you out of the way. Now you take it or leave it, they'll come back for you. Spill the beans. I want to speak with Lucy. Ways with Susan. I lied when I said I didn't know who she was with. I lied when I said I didn't have a hand in their death. I lied when I said I didn't know who killed her. What you do to me? You're thinking you 
get away with it. You got the money and power over me. Oh, my majesty. Hey, yes, God's Patience, boy. boy. I'm always coming to get you. Oh, oh. Lying and cheating, deceiving, misleading, and maiming and killing. You can't and go free. Can't and go free. No. Wickedness, recklessness, arrogance, treachery, heartiness. They always get you when you need. This is what you need Oh, the tears cascading Feel the pains of life My tears run away Hey, I can't stand the pain Confuse me, abuse me I'm losing my